Hello beautiful soul, welcome to this pick a tarot card reading. Today we are going to do a full tarot card um, reading and the theme of today I felt very strongly pulled towards this theme um, as we are ending this year right now. Uh, we're gonna do a, a, you know an end of the year review to see what were the main lessons that um, you were meant to learn during this um, this cycle, this maybe karmic cycle during this um, during this past uh, twelve months or so. Um, so again, I. Um, I, I'm going to hide the uh, wording so that you can focus on the patterns or you can just fill into the energy of each pile and choose the one you feel most drawn towards. Today is going to be uh, an in-depth into the particular lesson or lessons that you learned uh, in 2023 and um yeah i'm very very excited for uh the theme of today and um i can't wait for you to dive uh into it so i'll see you in uh your chosen pile Hello, Pile One. Welcome to your tarot reading um, about the lessons that the biggest lessons that you learned during 2023. So the main energy for your pile is resilience with the seven of wands. Now, the first thing that I'm getting from your energy is that you were put through certain challenges. You were put through burdens, through karmic tests. Because you are meant to you were meant to learn with the understanding, the ace of the ace of swords are ideas, divine guidance, um, light bulb moments. You were meant to understand particular patterns karmic patterns that you will use in your leadership. You are meant to be some sort of leader with the Hierophant. Um, you're meant to inspire. You're meant to um, guide, to be a guide uh, in some sort of way. And because it came out in your reverse, what this says to me is that without this understanding, without this resilience, you, you could not embody this energy of the leader. You could not guide others. Okay, this is a very clear energy. Now, the second layer here, we're getting a little bit deeper into... Um, um the challenge now i'm well aware that it's going to be different for each and every one of you um but what i'm hearing for the majority of you it had to do with people um if um and even more precisely with the queen of cups it was some sort of karmic relationship romantic mostly but not necessarily it could have been also uh, a feminine energy it could be a karmic parent it could be a karmic friend but what i'm getting mostly is that pile one you had to understand karmic relationships <laughs> karmic connections and the burdens that these karmic connections carry um and truly see um, 
the Queen of Cups, the reason why I'm saying these are karmic connections is because mm, mm, usually the karmic energies in our life truly embody this lack of empathy energy. Mostly they are narcissistic. They just do not understand with the Ace of Swords. They just do not understand uh, our path, who we are. Um, so your challenge, pile, pile one, your biggest lesson was overcoming with the karma in reverse the wheel of fortune in reverse truly overcoming this cycle of karmic connections and um i'm hearing soul family truly understanding uh the difference between the people um <laughs> I like to call the 3D people, uh, those who lack the empathy that we naturally uh, have um, and, and release the burden of having to force yourself into these connections. And in some sort of way, you are meant to guide others to get out of the situations. Maybe it was narcissistic um, dynamic. Maybe it was um, a um, non-equal um, connection, uh, unreciprocated. Um, you know, truly with this Queen of Cups in reverse, I'm feeling uh, truly the energy of um just a lot of struggle and a lot of burden within the within this relationship so let me see if i'm getting um if i'm getting more from this energy so right now you're finding yourself in this energy of resilience because you have to overcome all these uh burdens all these struggles this was your training uh pile one this was your um training ground to release uh the cycle of the karmic relationships maybe that you witnessed from your family maybe that were, were just carried along your bloodline you know cultural patterns maybe religious patterns you truly had to understand um connection human connection and find your resilience within it uh, maybe you were um maybe you were called to learn about you know self-love and how to truly fulfill ourselves and not seek codependency Th this queen of cups in reverse truly sends me the energy as well of um to someone who's not feeling their own cup right someone who's looking for validation maybe you were overcoming the people pleaser you know and because you're meant to embody the leader energy um with the hierophant and guidance um when you're in a leadership position you can't be a people pleaser right you need to take um you need to be decisive you need to be in a sharp um committed but also strong energy and um if you if you were carrying the burdens of you know pleasing everyone around you this is really what i'm it, it's almost like a second message that i'm getting with uh empathy in reverse is like you had to learn how to be um how to master your empathy so that it doesn't burden you um that's a beautiful message as well so what i'm what i'm almost getting from you is that um you know we have um we have in in each lifetime a what we call a north node which is the almost like our destiny the, the direction towards which we are going and these are lessons that we're meant to learn in this lifetime that we our souls haven't mm, let's say they're still in the process of um mastering of learning and the south node these are things that karmically we have mastered in the past so let's just say that in this lifetime you come with 
um, a, a big baggage of spiritual understanding and spiritual knowledge and you can just channel very very easily and these may have come from past lives in which you were a witch or a channeler or um, you know some sort of um, a spiritual figure and in this lifetime you will naturally carry those uh you know this would be your south no this would be something that is just natural for you but maybe you are lacking um maybe you're lacking um mental strength maybe you're lacking like in your in this case is what i'm feeling is your north node maybe in libra you can actually check that online um um, there are calculators where you can see you need to insert your birth date, I believe, and some other details, but it's it's pretty easy to find out. E either Libra or Gemini. So your North Node, your lesson in, not just in 2023, because I feel like this 2023 year truly carried our main life lessons, our karmic life lessons that we had to truly learn and embody. And for you, it feels like it's around uh, people, around karmic connections and really getting an, a hold of it, really understand how to have connections and relationships without feeling burdened by them, right? Because you're meant to be a leader, because you're meant to be um, a way shower, um, and these energies, when you master these energies and go deeper into understanding human psychology, it's um it's it's run it's what I'm getting. It's it it's helping you become a better leader. All right, uh, pile one. So this is what I'm getting for you. This was your biggest lesson in 2023. Let me know if this resonates. I'm truly seeing a beautiful, um, resilient energy and a much more embodied self. Um, I'm, I'm feeling like you're able right now with the leader card, with the hierophant, that you're more able to define yourself and find a, a stronger sense of identity without you know all these interferences and um it's it feels like a very burdensome lesson that you learn but i'm really feeling you right now in this energy where you're coming out of it um carrying a lot of wisdom and a lot of knowledge and understanding that you're going to share with others all right um well, thank you for sharing your beautiful energy with us. Um, and I will see you in the next one, Pile One. Take care and bye for now. Hello, Pile Two. Welcome to your tarot reading about the year of 2023 and just right away i'm feeling a very strong divine feminine energy i mean the empress is here um and i'm also hearing that some of you may be divine masculines who are here to hear about your divine feminines and what they had to go through in 2023 so welcome if that's the case so um well, pile two, a divine, a divine feminine journey has been truly about releasing with the death card in the reverse, releasing ego, uh, the, the stronghold of the ego, releasing control, releasing, um, releasing your, um, you know, your old ways with the six of cups in the past, but we're going to come back to that energy. With the justice card, I'm hearing very strongly divine justice. So pile two, divine feminine. Um, 
your lesson this year was around learning what true divine justice is and letting the divine work for you and through you. With the chariot in reverse, it was a freaking slow year. <laughs> and right now I am, you know, uh, expressing a little bit my own um, opinions about <laughs> about it. But this is, you know, this is your energy. Uh, but I just want to say that I've been through it as well. So I can fully relate to, um, to your reading. Right, with the progress, the chariot card in reverse, the divine puts you through a period of stillness, a period of releasing control because you were almost not meant, to, not able to, mm, to manifest things into your reality uh, with ease. Um, um, this was for, for a very strong reason, and that was to learn that to learn the difference between ego desires, control, wanting to to do things the old way with the six of cups uh, in the reverse, which is the past, and learning true divine justice and how manifesting from. Uh, a place of from your soul from a place of connection with source is all about and now if you if you invert the card with progress you know manifestation in the 5d is meant to be fast the chariot is a very fast moving energy and when you release the control of things have to be this certain way and i have to do i have to have this by this date and i want it to be this way and all these rigid energy right that is not the energy of an empress not the energy of a divine feminine did you see how you see how the divine feminine the, you know, the emperor she's almost like sitting laying back and allowing all the stars to work for her that's the energy of the empress right so if you're a true divine feminine um you are what i like to call a woman of god so god is working close with you but you your job is to get closer and closer and closer and closer to god and if you are um, what I'm hearing is if you are distracted by this devil energy, uh, sorry, death, uh, by these energies that you had to release, by these six of cups, uh, past energies, by these influences, if you are distracted by this, you, you were not focusing on God. If you wanted to manifest something out of fear because you didn't trust God enough, um, this all these mechanisms had to be cleared, had to be released so that you can actually manifest your life and your abundance, right? The Empress is all about abundance from a place, from a, from a fast moving energy with the chariot, from a, from a place of alignment and connection with source. Beautiful. Now the second energy, what I'm getting here is around the three of cups and the six of cups. The six, the six of Cups is, you know, sometimes gives me the, the um, energy of childhood and, and karmic family. Um, and you were also meant to release all the people that were still connected to that old version of you that you have outgrown. And with the Three of Cups, we celebrate. Three of Cups for me is soul family energy. So, um you were meant to go through this chapter of releasing connections and relationships and influences and habits is what I'm hearing as well from your past that were tied to your old identity in the old earth so that now you can make space for the three of cups which is your soul family that is coming very fast as you release the six of cups uh, the justice card with the chariot are coming into your life. You see how the energy goes from right to left. And, um, you know, the emperor, she's not meant to just sit there alone. She's meant to, uh, she's very nurturing, right? So with the fact that you have the three of cups uh, to 
to um, clarify the empress it means that you are meant to have some sort of community that you are actually going to nurture you're actually going to um, um to pour your beautiful empress energy into maybe you want to become a healer maybe um you want to start some sort of community maybe you're meant to do this in your immediate environment uh, maybe you want to create a local community and um do some sort of create some sort of safe space and environment for for um those that you are meant to help and those that you know that you that, that you are feel called to um, share your energy with um so this is um the main two lessons but truly the first one was around releasing the ego and releasing control right the death is a big big transformation card it's ego that's um releasing um releasing old identities personality releasing um the everything was what i'm hearing everything that is not in alignment with your divine feminine energy anything that keeps you away from truly connecting to source and to god and what i'm hearing as well with this celebration card with the three of cups is blessings 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 when we try to control the ways in which our birthright <laughs> need to come um is is almost an indicator of our faith and how much we actually rely on god and how much we actually rely on uh the universe on source energy what i heard i heard the word delay 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 so pile two you had your blessings delayed this year for a specific reason and that was to learn a new way of being into the world that is not based on control that is not based on fear of on luck right because when we want 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 something it means that we're lacking right so if you want to embody the empress energy which you are right now um you need to first cultivate that energy within yourself you know the empress is not because she has all the kingdom in the world in the material is because her frequency is abundant is luxurious is royal and so she's able you see almost how these patterns are within her right all these abundances within her it's built in her um and and this is who she is it's not you see she's she's naked she doesn't wear anything which means that everything she needs she already has she doesn't need to appear a certain way for her to be abundant um so yeah i i I was hearing as well. Um, I was pausing because I was. Um, I'm looking at the justice card with the sun and the moon. I'm also hearing balancing your masculine and feminine. So that was, you know, another lesson that you were learning as well: how to balance these energies, how not to be in your masculine energy um, too much. Um. And I was hearing as well, um, self-reliance um, and, and sovereignty. Okay, that was the word. I was hearing sovereignty, really learning how to become, become your abundance and not seek it on the outside, really become your own abundance. Beautiful pile too. Um, beautiful energy it's um it it feels very it feels very um prosperous energy with a lot of cops here i feel a lot of emotional fulfillment um it's very divine as well you know the chariot and justice 
I feel a lot of very highly spiritual energy from you and um, very new as well with the death in the reverse. I feel like you're truly stepping into a whole new identity and a whole new definition of who you really are and you are it's with the empress card and all these stars around her i'm feeling like you know it's you're you're truly starting to right now come into a phase of your life where you are testing your limits is what i'm hearing it's like you you really want to expand and you see like the world is hers right but from a different place, from a place, no longer from a place of ego, but rather from a place of true divine alignment. And I'm so thrilled um, for this beautiful new beginning for you. So pile two, um, thank you for sharing your beautiful energy with us today. And let us know in the comments below how this message resonated. And with that, I will see you in the next one. Take care and bye for now. Hello, my pile threes. Welcome to your tarot reading on the lessons that you had to learn and master during 2023. So your main energy uh, is bravery and strength. Okay, um, I'm sensing a very beautiful energy from you. A very charismatic with the queen of wands okay um very passionate very um very motivated very driven i'm hearing ambitious i'm hearing um i'm hearing um Truly active, truly active energy. Um, okay, the first thing that I'm hearing with the Two of Pentacles um, is that you had to overcome, one of the biggest lessons to overcome was financial instability. Um, I'm almost seeing this side of you that was very adventurous reckless you know just a little bit immature with the knight of wands <laughs> very passionate very driven but not and there there is another side that is you know responsible grounded um truly you know 
truly in your divine masculine energy in your um father energy is what i'm hearing as well like very uh, mature and you had to learn how to balance these two energies within you is what i'm hearing um with the judgment card so pile three this is almost like a hero's journey where you were truly embodying your um like where life put you through lessons where you had but it feels like very much like material life material based lessons like how to truly master your surroundings your environment your masculine energy um and how okay is what i'm getting and how not to fall for uh the um seduction like what is easily perceivable or easily perceived as a certain way or as attractive or as a good opportunity so maybe this what i'm really hearing is that maybe you had uh, i don't know invest in some sort of projects that you thought were going to lead to prosperity or to stability but where um with the moon it's there was a lot hidden that you were not able to see there was a lot of shadow in this particular energy and for some reason i feel it's it's not so much personal but it's professional um business related if you're some sort of business owner or this is related to your job in some sort of way i'm feeling almost this energy from a queen of wands um figure which is a charismatic almost like seductive energy that is not what it you know with the car misinterpretation that led you to a path of loss and what you had to learn is with judgment is to really learn how to discern so your your main lesson pile three was truly around discernment i'm feeling a lot of energies around you for some reason which it's what i'm what i'm really getting from your energy is that you were you were at some sort of beginning in your life with this immaturity card the queen of wands and it was a beginning that you were truly passionate about that you were truly inspired by and because at that time you you didn't yet have the training that will lead you to have this discernment you you haven't yet met this kind of tricky energy is what i'm hearing uh deceptive okay big big word uh deceptive energies these charismatic people that are not who they appear to be <laughs> um i'm getting this energy of you know uh, there's people who like are trying to um, get something from you and you know they put on a sweet face and they make you lose your judgment and they lead you down a path where you lose your strength you lose your mm, center because they are so good with you know with words because they seduce you into their agenda into their path and they make you lose balance they make you lose stability they make you lose finances they make you lose your ground so 
now I'm truly seeing you. You see how you've graduated from the Knight of Wands to this strength card with this strength energy. I really feel like right now you have a lion within you that is ready to protect you from this energy because I'm feeling that before, prior to 2023, you were... Um, Mm, you were very trust you were trusting people easily okay um you know you were giving people the benefit of the doubt you were you know you, you didn't know how bad things could get if you were to commit to the wrong person and your lesson was to see the dark side of the people with the moon as well and not take things at fa face value and go deeper and i'm really for some reason i'm sensing this energy from the queen of wands the judgment like discern the the package the charisma the queen of wands you see how she sits pretty in there discern you know what do you see from what is actually within that person so it took a lot of strength and bravery for you to dive into this dark side of humans is what i'm hearing but it really made you more mature because now you are able to select and you're able to have more judgment around who is coming with you in your life you see how this lion is like this is the discernment that right now is going to keep people you know unwanted people away from you because now you know that what is yours needs to be protected whether that is some sort of um whether that is material material gain whether that is your own trust whether that is your own space um you know you have something valuable to protect and now because you have gone through this period of loss and lessons i'm getting lessons after lessons after lesson almost like a domino effect for some of you uh because you you've gone through this now you can get into much more stability and what i'm hearing is that you can actually truly select and invite the people with whom you are going to create and um i'm just trying to see if there's another message that comes through but truly this is the main truly the main one so you had to learn discernment and through these lessons, you gained also a lot of strength and bravery because um, you really had to overcome big, you know, um, some big energies, some also powerful energies. The Queen of Wands, she's, you know, she can really put on a fight if she wants to. And uh, with this Moon card, it really feels like they had an agenda they really had an agenda that was hidden and when they revealed themselves um you see with this judgment card she's you know she's coming she's coming out of uh the you know this um coming out of the um, the shadows almost and and revealing the light this is divine guidance showing you, you know, giving you discernment, giving you uh, these sparkles of, of illumination that now you are able to see people for who they truly are and see their true colors and not being so swayed by, um, I'm hearing immediate desires. Yeah. All right, um, pile three. Thank you for sharing your beautiful energy with us today. Uh, let me know if this message resonated. I'd love to hear from you. Um, I love to see this. Um, I'd love to see you in this strength energy card. Um, and, you know, knowing that this has been a lesson that is it's really really valuable i really feel like this for as painful as it may have been um it, it was a lesson that truly helped you get 
very grounded and um you know get get clear about your life and who gets to be in it beautiful all right pile three um thank you for uh sharing your energy with us again and um i will see you in the next one take care and bye for now